So today I have come to tell you a Japanese folk tale. But the story is not for kids. It's for you and for me. It's a story of love. How I chanced upon this story uh, was when I was looking for tales on butterflies for kids. And I came upon this very beautiful Japanese folk tale, uh, which talks about the symbolism of butterflies in Japanese culture. So in Japanese culture, butterflies are symbolic of soul. And love is symbolic of transformation. Love can transform everything. So let's listen to the story. Once upon a time, there lived a man by the name of Takahama. Now, Takahama lived a very quiet life. And people around him found it very strange because he came from a distinguished family and he was an apprentice with a very rich merchant. But suddenly he left that and uh, he, he chose the profession of becoming a caretaker for a cemetery. So he lived in a very humble house in on the cemetery grounds amid the tombs. Takahama never got married. So his sister and his nephew used to come you know, regularly to meet him. But it was a trial for them because the nephew found the cemetery grounds very eerie. No, and he used to reward and hate it and he used to tell his mother, why do I need to? Why do we need to go there? Why can't he come and meet us? But the mother won't react. You know, she would still urge the child you know, to accompany him, accompany her to meet the brother, um, you know, uh, to see Takahama. So one day uh, when his sister and nephew went to meet him. They found that Takahama was mortally ill. And the nephew sat beside Takahama. And as Takahama fell asleep, the nephew saw a butterfly suddenly came in from the window and started fluttering around Takahama's face. And then she went and rested on the pillow of Takahama. Now the boy was very annoyed you know, and he tried to shoo the butterfly three times but this butterfly was determined to be by the side of Takahama. And as Takahama drew his last breath, the butterfly flew out of the window. Now the boy, uh, considering this as an omen, decided to follow the butterfly and he reached the grave of a very young girl by the name of Akiko. Now this grave was 60 years old and it was covered by green moss all over. But there were fresh flowers lying beside the grave of that little, that young girl. It was very strange for the boy because the grave was so old, about 60 years old. And there were still fresh flowers which is a very rare sight for you know somebody to have visitors uh, to a grave like that. So um, he goes back home and tells what he saw to his mother. And the mother just smiled and she asks him whose the grave was. And uh, the boy tells her that it was by uh, the name of Akiko. And the mother smiled and she decided to tell him the story of Takahama and Akiko. So many years ago, about 60 years ago, Takahama was hopelessly in love with a young girl by the name of Akiko. They were engaged and about to be married, but then Akiko died suddenly because of an accident. Takahama could not bear the pain of separation and he decided to be beside Akiko throughout his life. So he's left his job and took that profession you know, as a caretaker of the cemetery. And not one day would go by when Takahama would not go to the grave and offer fresh flowers. So uh, probably it was the first day 
when Takahama had not gone to offer fresh flowers at the grave. And the mother tells the boy that probably that white butterfly was the soul of Akiko, and who was concerned when, he, when she did not see Takahama at her grave. And she had come to you know, look upon and see if Takahama was all right. And she did not leave until until Takahama left this life and his soul went to meet Akiko.